<sighs> I'm just one chisard video away from getting a papa complex. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Daddy is back with another remake. <sighs> I'm just one chisard video away from getting a papa complex. I shouldn't call myself daddy or papa too often. <sighs> Never mind. So this right here is really a spicy boy and if you try to solve it your own way you might not have too much of a success because this thing right here is an absolute beast if you try it out for yourself without using papa's technique. So at first I would like to rename this function inside as f of x for example. So we end up with an integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of f of x in this case. I just renamed that. And I hope you guys remember that we can decompose every function into the sum of an odd and even function. So that's something we can do. So let's decompose f of x into the sum of an odd and even function. So we end up with integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of, at first we are going to have f of x plus f of minus x over 2 and then adding f of x minus f of minus x over 2 to it dx. So that's the unique decomposition of this function up here. Now we can use the linearity of the integral. So that means we can break this whole integral up into two integrals with the same up and lower bounds. That's why I left a little space here. So plus the integral going from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. And here's the first badass step with using this fappable technique. That's what it was called back then in the good old days. That's quite nostalgic. This thing right here is indeed an odd function. And if we take a look into the, into the description, I derived something before in a previous video. If you take an odd function over a symmetric integral, then that thing is just going to vanish. That right here is zero. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So we are going to end up with just this thing right here. So why not factor out the one half right here and see what we get. So one half times the integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of. And now we are going to end up with f of x plus f of minus x. And don't forget, this thing right here in itself is an, uh, don't forget the dx, is an even integrand. And if you take an even integrand over a symmetric integral, you are going to end up with 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 in this case. And the 2 and the 1 half is going to cancel out to 1 just, so we end up with an integral from 0 to pi over 2 of this very same argument right here. But what is this argument? Well, we can just use our definition for f of x and plug everything in. So we end up with the cosine of x over e to the 1 over x plus 1 and then adding cosine of minus x over e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 to it, dx. So don't forget to plug your minus x also into this exponential function up here. Take a closer look, my boys. The cosine in itself is an even function. What's the property of an even function? f of minus x is just f of x. <clears throat> so that means cosine of minus x is just cosine of x. And that's pretty crazy because we can factor this cosine of x out. That's a common factor. So we end up with an integral going from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x times 1 over e to the 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over e to the minus 1 over x plus 1. And by God, why not advance both fractions right here and add them together? So what are we going to end up with? An integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x. So this thing down here, I'm just writing it as a common factor at first. So e to the 1 over x plus 1 times e to the minus 1 over x plus 1. And what are we going to have up here? Well, this is going to be e to the 1 over x plus 1 and then plus um, e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Now let's just take a look at the denominator down here and let's see what we get there. So e to the 1 over x plus 1 times e to the minus 1 over x plus 1. Well, at first we are going to end up with e to the 1 over x plus e to the minus 1 over x. 1 times 1 is just 1, so that stays as it is. And we are going to multiply e to the 1 over x 
with e to the minus 1 over x. We can use the property that they have the same base to bring the exponents together. So we have e to the 1 over x minus 1 over x. This is e to the 0 of power. That is just 1. Um, uh huh, my boys, what the fuck are those? You see, the denominator is this thing right here. And it's the same as the numerator. A over A is going to cancel out to a 1. That's bloody amazing. Now we just have to integrate the cosine right here. So, what's the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the cosine of x? dx. <laughs> well, we know how to integrate cosine. Maybe I'm going to make a video on this integral, how to integrate it 10 different ways. I can probably come up with 10 different ways to integrate that. That actually sounds like a great idea. Never mind. This is going to evaluate to the sine of x from 0 to pi over 2. Well, sine of 0 is just 0 and sine of pi over 2, well, is 1. And then we are done. So that monster down here that doesn't even have an elementary function if you integrate it without up and lower bounds is just 1. So that's nice. Like I said, try it out for yourself without the palpable technique. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support me a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya.